Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer. I am back with another prophetic message. I normally don't record messages on the weekends. I use, try to use that time for myself, but I am recording this message because I received another message last night and I had two other messages that I received the other day that I did not get out and I want to get them out because I don't want to play catch up in case something else comes through. So let me get right into the message. And let me say this too. I did do a, a post, a YouTube post, uh, Prior to this message, uh, it should be the one above this one or below it, however it's set up. Um, I was, the message was about someone having a hard time with breathing. Um, it also came to me to, uh, Spirit had also brought something to my attention after the fact that I had recorded. In the last two days, it was on my mind to say something. So I had to make a mental note to make sure I added this in there as well too. Um, doing this post. So anyway, um, when I mentioned about someone's having a hard time with breathing, um, you know, whether it be for health reasons or oxygen level being low or, you know, just needing to do breath work or needing to get an exercise routine in, uh, keep in mind too also that it is allergy season too and that could also play a part in it too. But be mindful because I guess even after allergy seasons comes and goes, if you're still having that problem, it's always best to consult, you know, your healthcare provider in a process. So I just wanted to state that as well, too, that which could have also been another uh, issue as well. OK, so let me get right to the message. Um, the message that I receive on Thursday. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. That's my dog barking in the background. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um she may do it again. Hopefully she won't though. But anyway, I think she hears somebody walking past. So anyway, um, let me get right into the message. So the first thing I saw was um, I had got it as if it was, I told you before that sometimes when these dreams come, they come as if they're coming, you know, in a form that it's happening through me, but it's usually pertaining to other people. So that way I can understand the message. So the message was what I saw was as if I had moved in into a relative's a uh, place. I kind of feel like it was like an apartment. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I got the feeling like I had moved in with a relative. Um, and I saw several different things in this dream. So it, and it was just symbolism that stood out. So because it was symbolisms that I didn't understand, I had to Google, you know, certain meanings behind. And I also have like a dream book as well too so sometimes I try to get those messages and make sure those two, you know, um, correlate with each other. Um, so yes, but anyway, so I dreamed that someone was, um, as if I had moved in with a relative, but I didn't feel like this was something permanent. I guess I felt like it was just something short term, but I also remember again, there was little symbolisms that symbols that just kind of stuck out in a dream. And what I saw was, I saw as if one point in time in a dream, I was sitting down and I was looking at samples. You know how you get color swatch samples from like Home Depot, like if you're about to paint or whatever? Well, these were like floor samples. And it was like little, um, so like it, I was looking like, kind of like at a, it wasn't a book, but it felt like a book, but it felt like a paperback type book, but it had like little hard little pieces of wood samples in there. And apparently someone is obviously thinking about either getting some new floors or they're trying to consider the color of floors that they want to consider. But I saw them looking at uh, little samples of floor samples, like laminated floor samples. And it was like a, a dark brown color, almost like a charcoal, a chocolate uh, brown color is what I saw. And, um, and I had to Google, um, the um i had to google the meaning of char uh dark brown because i i wasn't for sure exactly what that meant but anyway so for this message how it may apply to whoever it may resonate with the dark color of flooring sample swatches where it st it stands for stability reliability durability as well as approachability so i don't know if someone is thinking about redoing their floors or whatever the case may be, or if that's just the color I was meant to see in order to let someone know that either they're changing the floors and getting new floors, or 
this is something that's just going to be coming into your life again which is stability reliability durability approachability um just it's going to be some things that may be possibly happening to you in your life however it may come whether you're doing new floors or whether it's just the energy just just to come to you um just within your life period so the next thing um, in a dream I had saw, I also saw myself going kind of like down. I went to go get in my car and and I went to get in my car and I was like in this like parking lot and some I was trying to back up, but somebody was trying to come in at the same time. It was kind of weird, but at the same time, I kind of like let them go head on first and I kind of waited and I had to somewhat pull in a teeny bit in somebody's driveway just to kind of back up and back out. Um, so as I was doing that to let this other car go, there was, it, I, I saw there was a family that was having like a, it kind of felt like a party. It was almost like a fiesta type party in their backyard. Um, but I knew that they was having fun and I can hear what was going on. I can see, um, off the side of the house this is the house and i can see off the side of the house in the backyard but i knew that there was more commotion going on back here um yeah they were singing and kind of like partying just having fun and i, I kind of got to feel like it was like a birthday celebration um but the other thing too like as i was waiting to back up i saw a gentleman walk from from that back area where they was having a party at and he was walking towards the side of the house walking towards the front yard and as he was walking towards the front yard there was like some little stuffed animals on the lawn that I saw when I was waiting again to back up, waiting for this car to go past. So as I was watching him, he went and he scooped up the animals like this and he just let them all kind of fall down, <laughs> kind of almost like confetti or whatever. But at first when I saw it, I thought to myself, I was like, uh, when he picked up the animals, because I think in that bunch of animals, there was actually a real puppy in there, but then... The rest of them were stuffed animals. I was like, oh, I didn't know that there was a puppy in there because it was camouflaged with the, the, the stuffed animals. But anyway, so yeah, he picked them up. He scooped them up and he just kind of let them all fall like, you know, for whatever reason. So I didn't understand the meaning of that as well too. But, and I had to Google uh, the meaning of stuffed animals in a dream. Um. So... Give me one second. Sorry, guys. I was just trying to find. I lost my train of thought or where I was at. Okay. So anyway. So yeah. So when I Google the meaning of stuffed animals in a dream, what I had gotten was it said that um, it could be a sign or an alert that you could um, that you need to change your childish ways about something, someone, or a particular situation. So. When I thought about it, because it was two different meanings that was behind it. The other one was also, it says, um, because stuffed animals are gifted to us by someone we love. They are the ultimate symbol of love, compassion, and gentleness. So, some of you could be in a situation where you need to change your childish ways. I guess Divine Spirit Light trying to say it was... It's time to grow up. And the reason why I say that is because when he took the animals and he just kind of let them go. But he was a grown man who was doing this. So I didn't understand his reasons for doing it. But again, and I was just trying to make sure I understood where um, we was coming from with the dream. But again, so it could be a situation of someone needs to grow up and do away with their childish things. As you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, when I was a child, I act like a child and I did childish things. Um... And I can't remember how the rest of it goes. But anyway, so in other words, when you grow up, it's time to put away childish things. You know, it, it's it's that balance. <laughs> um, because yes, you should you should allow your inner child to come out as well too, but there's a time and a place for that. Um, and acting appropriately with it. But anyway, so like I said, uh it could be a situation of somebody's either just being childish um and need to do away with the childish childishness and they need to uh have more love compassion and gentleness towards whatever the situation could be in your life um again if it's a situation about something someone 
or a particular person or or a particular situation that let's just say you've been a little immature about and it's i guess the divine spirit like say it's time to grow up um that's the method okay and then we just got a ding so thank you anyway so let's move right along so um so the second dream that i had was this one was about three people bear with me here it's a little weird um the female in the dream was somebody that i knew like in this walk of life but um yeah it's somebody that i know in this walk of life but i don't i have not talked to them in um some some years but anyway i don't this i don't this is not applying to me but again it's coming in the form of this particular person but okay i got it okay so anyway okay so here's the thing listen to me either you are dealing with this situation now you possibly may be dealing with this situation or you may be dealing with this situation in the near future or you could have dealt with this situation in the past okay so bear with me here because sometimes these things happen in phases meaning like one person may be going through this that person's done learning their lesson another person may be going through this so again it could be coming in phases so again if you are someone not if you're someone i'm sorry so it could be happening to you now the present moment that that energy is building a momentum or it could be happening to you within the next couple of weeks or soon or it could be happening to you in the near future you know maybe five four months down the road i don't know um but anyway or you are someone who has dealt with this situation in the past and when i say the past i mean like a couple of years ago this is something that you dealt with a couple of years ago and you could be either sitting around and thinking about this your actions your actions your actions could be weighing on you and you could be thinking about just your, your actions of the behavior that um maybe you might have partaked in in the past but anyway so what i saw was it was three females and they was like outside of this door for some particular reason this person that i said i knew it was as if someone was kind of um how can i say it i want to say groping let me just say uh kind of groping their chest area i mean i know we're all adults but I'm, i just i don't want to bring certain energy towards this channel or whatever but anyway um let's just say that she was being touched in inappropriate places um on her upper body and then next thing you know somehow i saw like i can't remember if the three people was before this person showed up but anyway and then i saw like money being exchanged should i say like almost as if somebody was paying for a service in a sense and I clearly remember seeing just how much the money was. I don't know what the $41 represents, but it was two 20s and a $1 bill. And they were kind of folded up and I saw them exchanging or giving somebody the money. But then I also remember seeing too, like almost as if one of the girls were kind of like being pulled into the room in a sense out of the three girls. So I don't know what that means. I don't know who that message is for, but you know, if this applies or if it resonates with somebody from either their past or something that's possibly could be coming up, I'm not sure, but that's just what I saw. So I'm going to leave that there because that's all I know. So like I said before, you could just be thinking about your past actions or you could just be thinking about these actions right now that could be possibly manifesting that's going to end up showing up in your life. Why? Because you're sitting around and you're thinking about it and you're manifesting it. Um unknowingly usually sometimes but um okay so i'm done with that message let me move on so the last message that i saw was this one came through uh early this morning so this one was i saw a female who had a child and i saw her getting out of a truck it was like a brand new type truck um and all i heard was when you give it should be given to you 
That's all I heard in that message. And the color of the truck was like a um a golden kind of color, like this type color, golden brown type color. Um, yeah, it was like one of those big little SUVs, kind of almost like a I don't want to say a Chevy Tahoe, but like a Chevy um you know, kind of like the Chevys that the Secret Service people type use. But anyway, it was like a goldish color. So this person had a child. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a, a girl. But nevertheless, this person could have kids. Or this this could just be energy, maybe not for just one person, but it could be energy for a lot of different people. So that's all I heard in the message. And I'm just delivering the message. So if it resonates, then it resonates. And if it doesn't, then that's fine too. But with all that being said, those are the messages that I received. And um, that's all I have for you. So I'm hoping you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. <sighs> I'm getting ready to go relax. I was up early running about some errands. I normally don't go to the store on the weekends. It was just too crowded. And oh my God. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go relax now. So I just wanted to make sure I recorded this message and got it out for you guys. So however this message may resonate with you guys, um, you know, hopefully you'll, hopefully it'll resonate with somebody and, you know, um, but anyway, with all that being said, I'm wishing you all much love and I'm wishing you much light on your journey. And as I say before, peace and blessings. Bye.